Hello, hello. In this video, I would like to show you how to upgrade your old ships with the old heat system to the new heat system and now allow you to continue to use them as normally as possible. As a side note, I'll be doing a second video after this one in order to show you in detail how the heat mechanics work. I'll be keeping it as simple as possible in this video. The ship you're seeing right now is my ship called Blitz. It's a torpedo runner and it's a good example for the upgrade as it has enhancers, it has weapons and pretty much everything that is concerned by the update. The first thing to know about this update is that the enhancers no longer work on the fuel chambers. Leaving them there will serve absolutely no purpose. So I'm going to remove them from the fuel chambers as now they work on the generators. In order to ensure that I haven't forgotten any of the announcers, what I do is I check into the full part list of the ship just to make sure I haven't forgotten any. Now, this is the part where I'm going to be implementing the heat sinks. Before I implement the heat sinks, here are a few very important pieces of information that will allow you to better understand how and why to implement them. The first important point is that if you've already unlocked the tier 1 generators, you've also already unlocked the heat sinks. They are very easy to access. The heat sinks come in three different shapes and size the cube, the elongated form, and the flat one. All three have got very similar costs and same specs. They're rather cheap, only costing Bastium, Carotium, and Volcarium, and very little of them. Now, I'm purposely going to oversimplify things a little bit. The scope of this video is to show you how to upgrade your ship, not to get you to understand in detail what works and how. But the gist of it is that the generators send the heat to the heat sinks, the heat sinks send the heat to the radiators. But the weapons also send the heat to the heat sinks, and I'm going to show you how it works in action. Now this is a very simple setup. You've got two weapons, you've got the generators, the heat sink and the radiators, and by default everything is needed in order to get the generators running. Now, what I'd like you to notice here is that the heat transfer rate is being saturated. This is the heat percentage that the heat sinks can transfer to the radiators. It increases, it saturates, and when it maxes out, the, the heat sinks start to store the, the excess heat. Once you reach the absolute maximum, which is 15,000, the weapons start overheating and the weapon fire rate starts decreasing. Now, for the blitz, what I'm going to be using are the square heat sinks. There's something very nice about them, and that is that they snap with the generators and I don't need to cable them in any way. Just having them attached to the generators will get them to work just fine. Now in my case, the heat sinks fit very conveniently in the spaces that were left vacant by the removal of the enhancers. I will, however, show you alternative ways of placing the heat sinks should this not be a possibility for you. Now, before I go any further with the blitz, I'm just going to show you different implementations of the heat sinks. What you're looking at right now is my Echo Refuel, which is one of my free blueprints. And as you can see on this ship, the heat sinks are very simply being placed on the top of the ship and piped and cabled. You need both. They'll work just fine. There is no need for you to put them directly on the generators. Here is the moon racer and it's pretty much the same thing. In this case, I'm using the flat heat sinks and they are put on each side of the ship. Once again, piped and cabled. Now, the next part is also very important, and that is to pipe all of your weapons. Previously, this was not needed at all, because the weapons were managing their own heat. Now, this heat needs to get sent to those heat sinks, and the way you do that is through the pipes. So right now, I need to pipe all of my weapons. Now, my next step is I need to update my cockpit in order to get the new values being displayed on my side. Before, uh, we used to look at the radiation rate, especially with those generators, it's no longer needed. So now I need that heat transfer rate and I need that heat stored in the heat sinks. Those are going to be my two go-to values that are going to tell me if there's an issue or not. 
Now, once you've finished updating your ships, please test them to make sure that everything has been implemented correctly. Things you want to watch out for are weird heat transfer weights that just don't increase. That would be weapons that aren't shooting at max fire rate. Those are values that you want to look out for when you've updated your ship, just to make sure that everything is now in proper order and working properly. As you can see, in my case, the power generation, the heat transfer rate and dissipation are more than enough to allow those 10 lasers to work at max fire rate for as long as they've got ammunition. As an unrelated side note, don't shoot your torpedoes when flying sideways. Just saying. I have not forgotten about the announcers. I'll just show you how they work at a later date. For now, I recommend that you very simply remove them if needed, as they are no longer useful on the fuel chambers where they were supposed to be originally. I'll show you in detail how they work with the heat system, the heat dissipation system, the fuel chambers, the generators, and the enhancers, everything at once with all of the mats. Thanks a lot for watching my video, and I'll see you next time.